Or say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I've got two games to show you today. A double feature. And the video is only 15 and a half minutes long. Without an intro. Which means that uh, both games are slightly longer than the average game. Length in this game. Der Tobel from the Panks clan. <coughs> Guys is playing as Cromwell B. Now these two games I'm going to show you are, they're both tier 6 games. I think they're both on the same map. They're both played on in fast tanks. But it's a contrast. I wanted to show you the contrast in play styles, okay? They're the Tobol. We're going to watch him first in the Cromwell B. And I just want you to observe how he, they're both, they both have great games. They're both fantastic games. It's not like one guy's great and one guy sucks. They, they're both great. Both fantastic games. They're both in fast tanks. They play differently. And I just want you to notice there's different... People have different ways they play the game. And I'm not talking about where they go, how they shoot, the positions they take. That's not what I'm talking about. That, that's, that's just gameplay. I'm talking about how they actually handle the keyboard and the mouse is what I'm... Well, I, I gotta show you this, guys. It's very interesting. Now, notice the way uh, Tobol here is, he's got his tank. Uh, you know, he zooms in and he zooms out just so that he sees the turret of his tank. And he does not shake the mouse around. He drives. It's very, it's very friendly to make a video of his gameplay because he, uh, he, he drives with the, the view right behind the tank. And he doesn't vary that view. He doesn't zoom in and zoom out. He, he zooms in when he wants to shoot. And then he zooms out to that uh, perspective that you noticed while he was driving. That one didn't go and he moves the mouse very calmly and he's very meticulous and, and does things in that way. And when you do that, you have a very good idea where your central marker is, which is the white dot in the middle of the screen. You can drive around. You can slowly move your mouse around and put that central marker on targets, highlight them without turning your turret. You can right click your mouse and you can just he hasn't done it yet, but you can put the, the central marker on targets around the map as you're driving to see if you have a direct line of sight to see if you can shoot them. It's, it's kind of a, a thing uh, good players do, or uh, some players do. You don't, I mean, some bad players do that too. I'm, I'm just saying. It's a smooth way of play. So let's just enjoy his game here. He's double bushing himself like a boss, and he's trying to track this. This poor guy that's going down the German heavy line. <laughs> you notice how he does it? He pokes forward, he lights them, and after he lights them, he's lit someone, and he pulls back, and he can shoot this guy now and not get detected. Now he's gonna be detected. Now he's detected. You're detected. And you're gonna get hit by that same VK that you tried to permatrack. So he took a hit, he got greedy, he took a shot. He took an extra shot. Let's enjoy his game here. Now, that's enough. Uh, uh, all I'm going to say about the the style of. I'm not talking about the style of play, the style of handling the hardware. Okay. The keyboard and the mouse. The keyboard. Eh. They, they probably both don't move the keyboard. They probably both have their fingers on the keyboard. I'm talking about the mouse, I guess. Mainly the mouse. It's mainly the mouse that we're going to try and observe. The the handling of the. Each player handles his mouse differently. Think, think of that for a second there. One guy is gentle with his own mouse. And the other guy, well, let's just say he treats his mouse a little bit differently. And it's all about the way you treat your mouse, guys. <laughs> In this video, anyway. Well, let's, uh, let's watch. So far, what have we missed while I've rambled? He's, he's done almost 1,500 damage. Or more than 1,500. I can't read I'm dyslexic, so I, you know, you guys, you can read it. You don't need me to tell you. But he's done quite a bit of damage already for a Cromwell B. This would be a pretty good game in a. It wouldn't be like a Unicom game, but it would be a pretty good game in a Cromwell B. It's an encounter game, so there's a lot of stagnant gameplay. People muddling around the base. You know, one, should I go in the base? Should I? What do I do? There's a lot of that going on. All his heavies are behind him. Kind of on this, because you can shoot the base from here, I guess, is why they're here. So this spawn on the north side gets this and that island that they can shoot the base. And the poor enemies kind of 
blunder forward like this and they get shot over and over and over and over again and you know what i've seen a lot of great games in these encounter modes now he's okay spots this guy and don't shoot him don't shoot him unless you pull back a little bit more he spotted everyone yeah now he's getting some damage assist did, he, he got spotted probably when he did yeah because he did not back up but he knew and he pulled back and what i was going to say is on these encounter games i have encounter turned off and i think i'm going to turn it back on because i notice there's so many examples of uh, encounter games where the play uh the style of play becomes so stagnant because people just muddling around uh, the base or just staying in pretty obvious positions that if you you get a situation like this you can just farm and I've seen so many really high score games damage wise on encounter there's no need in encounter to to take go down the one line or the southwest corner of the map like look where the the base it, the fight is all around this area usually a good team could like a platoon could push that one line and flank and win the game i'm not saying that's not a good play but i'm saying a lot of the times it's just a bunch of guys just kind of parked around the base like this a few of them venturing up the hill and you can have these games where you don't go anywhere <laughs> And you get a shit ton of damage. Now he is going to go somewhere. Okay, they're winning 9-5. But it's not going to be just a, a runaway victory. He's look, He's got a shit ton of spotting. And this guy's just giving up. Leaping off the cliff to his death. Got spotted there. He's got more spotting assist than he has damage. Which is incredulous. Now he's going he's gonna to move. Now w watch when he drives there. You see how he's driving? Kind of, he's easy to watch. You see the central marker, the white dot? He can like put that on an enemy like, oh, he stopped. He could have, he's, 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 he's just gonna take this guy out. He's tracked him, he's gonna get more assist. <laughs> he's tracked him. I guess it's not a great example of, uh, of driving him, except for the first 15 seconds. So now he's calmly going to drive behind. Oh, there's someone else there. Just, okay. Do some more tracking that says, no, back up! Get yourself safe from the guy behind you. He's, he's switched to APCR. Uh, you just, you, oh, one more. Oh, um, the Alpha, Alpha, you need, where's my Alpha? A kingdom for my Alpha. This guy accidentally uh, killed him. <laughs> uh, just a calm little game in a Cromwell. And uh, l let's check the results here. He's, over 3,000 damage, over 4,000 spotting assist. Just incredible on an encounter. 3,400 damage, more than that. How much spotting assist? Did he get any? Almost 5,000. Just ridiculous. It, it didn't seem like you know, that much of an effort, did it? Well, now we're going to watch Herbie 36. And he's in a he's in a, a, a T fifty dash two. And oh, Herbie thirty six is from the D W clan. Shout out to you guys! I almost forgot. He has a different play style. Now it's a it's not an encounter. There's a it's a lot more running around on a what am I I'm starting my I'm starting to get a headache. What's going on? Now Herbie is what the fuck? Herbie is the like. You see what Herbie is doing? <laughs> I, how do you play like this, Herbie? I'm just showing you this is what he sees when he plays. It's like I've, I'm already getting dizzy. And he handles his mouse more aggressively <laughs> than Tobol does. Tobol gently strokes the mouse and moves it slightly. and just eases it around and gets the desired effect. Whereas Herbie is just... Ramming it around, you know, like, and I, I have trouble um, watching it and doing commentary. Like, how? and uh, you know what? There's, it's um, it's a genetic thing. Some people uh, are get seasick, and some people don't. Did you know that? Yeah, everyone knows that. Herbie does not get seasick. I will, Herbie, if you're watching this video, just confirm. I guarantee that you, uh, you know, you don't get seasick. You've probably been out on a boat or whatever. 
and you know in the big swell and waves and shit and there's people puking and you're not because like holy shit Herbie he, I, I couldn't play like this he's just I think he's confused himself he's dri driven into the edge of the map this constant zooming in and zooming out and this and that and, oh holy shit I'm gonna have to go to third person here in a second guys because I can you watch this now I, w I would hazard to guess that there's probably 50% of you that say, yeah, well, what's wrong? I play like this. It? And it doesn't affect you at all. And I bet there's 50% of you that are watching this saying, holy fuck, I can't, I can't watch this. You're probably getting motion sickness. And now I think I've, I've switched to third person. Whew, just to get a break. I can't, Herbie, you're a great player. And you're going to see both these guys have fantastic results. I'm not saying Herbie's doing it wrong. I'm just saying, Herbie, I, I, I can't do what you're doing. I, I'm one of those guys, I do get seasick, okay? If I go out in a boat and, uh, uh, and I, I turn green and I get, I get seasick. So I can't watch Herbie. See, this, this I can watch. You see the smoothness of, and, and when I play, I, I think this is, I'm almost in this perspective all the time. Oh, Herbie, see, you were zooming in and zooming out so much, you didn't even see that freaking dead tank. Let's switch back to his point of view this is what he's doing okay we're gonna want he's probably gonna do another scouting run here and this is it this is how he handles it you're like what the fuck <laughs> and i guess he's just uh you know he can handle it uh the, the information the, uh, just driving around and things to perspective everything going haywire like that he's looking left looking right to just zooming in and out like that and he whoa for him it's um like, holy shit, Herbie, how do you, how does your brain, and he, he's going to hit the dead tank again. See, that's why you hit the dead tank, Herbie, because you're playing with the freaking mouse wheel. Okay, switch back. I'm switching back to third person here because I can't watch his replay. You guys let me know in the comments. It's, uh, I, I don't, I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong. I'm just saying, um, uh, some people can do that and some people can't. They, like, they, they will get physically nauseous, uh, especially on a big screen. You'll just like the information and the, your inner ear and the brain and there's some sensitivity thing, balance something, and, and you're gonna get sick. You, that's called seasickness, motion sickness. It gives me motion sickness. Now, I believe that uh, if you can learn to drive around with um, uh, the perspective very smooth and calm you can really um, in some situations figure out you can use that central marker as you're driving when you're not like jerking on the mouse you know it like zooming in and out you can put your central marker on things as you drive around smoothly, and you can see where you have shots without having to zoom in which is a huge advantage and I've seen I try and do that and some of the, the best players will do that. You'll see them driving around very smoothly. They'll see a target. They, they uh, uh, keep their turret by pressing the right mouse button so the turret doesn't move and they just slowly move the central marker onto the target to see if they have a shot and the target will highlight and then they'll stop, turn the turret and shoot. They don't have to zoom in, zoom out, move the turret. This, Because if you move the turret to, to check, then your turret sideways, you get hit from someone else you haven't spot. You know, it's very... I've seen some of the best players are very controlled and meticulous in how they handle their mouse. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, guys? Let me know what uh, how you play, and uh, and let me know whether you like when you when you watch this replay from Herbie's point of view. Whether now Herbie's probably wondering what the fuck are you? Why are you saying all this? Are you making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you, Herbie. You're going to have a great game, and I think you're a fantastic player. I'm just saying that I can't. Do, oh, look at that bush down there. That guy's beyond your uh, detection range. I'm saying that, uh, uh, shout out to you, buddy, because somehow you can handle, your brain can handle more information than my brain can have. I would get uh, motion sickness uh, trying to play the way you do, uh, but Herbie is a master. And he's just chewing through the enemies. He did not fire his gun a lot, but you guys wait till you see the result here. Okay, now he's now he's moving in for the mop-up damage. And shout out to you, Herbie, man. 
You you do it like like I can't do it, buddy. You you had an amazing game. Check out these results, guys. And shout out to both of these players. Look at this. Third mark on his barrel, right? On top. How much detection did he do? He did almost 5,000 spotting assists. So, uh, you know, uh, Herbie gets his third mark. He's better than 95% of players. So what he's doing works for him. Absolutely incredible. I just wanted to contrast those two styles because, uh, I don't know, he probably, that's not a topic that's uh, talked about a lot. But let me know in the comments uh, how you play and what you think of the two different styles. And remember, there's no right or wrong. It's just uh, 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 our brains are all different. And... Uh, Let's face it, people play with their mouses. Everyone enjoys their mouse in a different way. Let's just say it like that.